uh, the, the uh, country expects us to fight for them, but they don't fight for us. So, you know, well, that's what I'm trying to say. Instead of stepping, why don't you, like I said, the, these systems, they're not bad systems. It's just that you have to force the system to recognize you, to, to, to accept that the fact that they're, they're liable and that they were created to protect and secure, you know, the property of the people, and they were there to, to help and aid and comfort the people. Now, if they're, if they're electing their duty, make them liable. Sue them. So, so if, you, if you hit them hard enough, and, you know, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll wake up. And they'll say, wow, you know what? We're going to get a trial by jury in Queens Bench, and we're going to get the people to sit there. Now, the people from National Health and NHS Oh, and Trump, Trump, Trump. I've got something to start you. I read, I read something the, the other day. The juries in England aren't a jury of our pills. Because they're sick citizens, right? I've, 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 read, I've read an argument the, the other day that um, they are not a jury of our pills. Sure they can. I could be a citizen at times and sometimes I'm not. Just like those people. They're not zombies, man. Just because they say they're citizens of England or citizens of the United States, I love the argument, believe me. I've seen that plenty of times, saying, well, you know what, uh, i got to have people who are citizens of, uh, of uh, Yahweh, and only Yahweh citizens can judge me. They say, you know what, that may be true. But I I'll tell you what, I'm telling you, if you get a jury of 12 people to sit in the Queen's bench and hear the NHS's uh, argument, and try and try to defend themselves by your uh, you, when you pursue them when you prosecute them. First of all, the Queen's mention, they ain't got no voice. Yeah. So obviously, you're going to win hands down because the other side's going to fail to appear to defend themselves because there is nobody called NHS. Man and a woman got together and they created NHS. Yeah. NHS is supposed to serve for the benefit of man and mankind. Now, when that no longer will benefit the man of mankind, man gets to pull that charter. Man gets to force them into full compliance with being a benefit to man. If you take it to crown, you're not going to win. You're not going to win in any crown court because they're going to look at you as subordinate to the NHS. When you take it to Queen's bench, man is subordinate to the charter. Oh, man. Is there a, so, is that still side the Queen's bench? Because um, the Queen's bench that we we use before we met you, you use CPR rules, which is statutory. You could use any rules you want in Queen's Bench, whatever you choose. Whoever the prosecutor is, who's ever the, who's ever the one moving the matter through the court, they're going to be the one who establishes the rules. You could use the book of Yahweh, man. You could use the book of Job. You could use the book of anything you want. As long as the other party doesn't challenge it or pokes it and say, wait a second, what crazy rules are you using? How am I, like you guys go all the time, how do you got jurisdiction over me? How am I bound by your rules? That code creates what? How, do, how, how, do, how does this court have joined them? How does this court have jurisdiction over me? I don't know those silly codes. How am I bound by those codes? Is there a contract between me and motor vehicles? Is there a contract between me and... Uh, CPS or DHR, is there a contract between me and them? No. Then how did you get jurisdiction over me? See, because you guys are always challenging jurisdiction. And that's the same thing when you move into a Queen's bench. You can come with them. any crazy rules you want to come in with. And if the other side is too stupid to say, um, okay, we're dueling at dawn, what's the weapons of choice? Well, I'm going to use a bazooka and I'm going to give you a pea shooter. Wait a second, that don't sound bad. Okay, then what would you like? Well, I'd like a bazooka, too. I was like, wow, okay, so uh, you kind of know the rules of court, then, don't you? Yeah, I know the rules of court. I'm not stupid. If you could come in with a bazooka, so can I. I was like, well, okay. But then they don't want to fight me no more, because now it's a fair fight. They're not going to win. Or they could lose. And they're like, oh, boy. You know, this guy knows what we're doing. Oh, shit, we can't, we can't fight this guy. He's not stupid. So when they come at you with their codes and their precedents and uh, their case law, you have no idea what they're going on about. So this guy all of a sudden, like when I was there with Bali's court, they were going on about like uh, the, the barrister was saying, oh, you know, in uh, 1975 we had a case, and 1994 this ruled this, and 2005 they ruled this, and in the Crown, Crown ruled this. So what? I can't. In, but the other side, man, their pens were smoking and everybody was writing down, oh, case law, precedent, oh, listen to all these codes and statutes, oh, they're writing mm -hmm. stuff down. 
I didn't get what to say. I didn't get to say what they were writing. I'm not going to answer any of that crap. Right? Because I'm going to I'm going to answer in common law. I'm going to find the common terms, the common laws, and the common law, the customs of the people. I'm going to talk plain English. But I don't know. I think it was. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is, uh, that's what I'm trying to say about Queen's mention, that citizen nonsense, that citizen argument. Yes, I mean, like somebody said that, uh, that's on that Billy Thornton show. He says that, he says he doesn't remember the case, but he said that somebody was, like, in, uh, court, and they told, look, I'm only, if they're U.S. citizens, I'm not a citizen, so, you know, they got to be non-U.S. citizens to hear the matter. It's like, okay, well, what happens they walked outside and just like you said, Jason, why don't they get 12 Romanians? Mm. That British citizens, how, how would you like 12 Romanians sitting there? And they'll have an, inter they'll have an interpreter. Let, let that apply. You know, how about they get 12 Shiite Muslims? Would, would that satisfy you? So, no, to me it doesn't matter, man. People know what's fair and just. I trust the people. I trust 12 people who walk out of Kentucky Fried Chicken and sit on my jury. I'll take the first 12 people who walk out of Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'll take them. Because, like I said, the other side's going to not appear. The other side's not going to defend them. How, how is NHS going to defend themselves? I'm going to do NHS because NHS is the one that supposedly supposed to take care of your mom. NHS was never let them do it because obviously it didn't provide the services that your mom required. Because your mom was a woman. She said, this is what I require of a chartered agency that's supposed to support and protect people. Obviously, they were derelict in their duty. So, obviously, the only person that's going to show up in NHS is going to be a barrister, a solicitor, or an attorney, a lawyer, whatever is going to show up. And you're going to say, wait a second, why are you speaking? Are you NHS? No, I represent NHS. Really? Why are you NHS here? Um, well, that's ridiculous. It's, it's an agency. Well, what do you mean it's ridiculous? How come it says, uh, its name on the check. Who, who, who's liable? Who, who's the one liable for this check? Bring that man or woman forward. Who's the one ultimately liable for NHS? Will that be the commissioner? Or bring the commissioner on board. Tell me that the commissioner is the one who is NHS. Do you act on and before and behalf of NHS? Yes. And you're liable to it. I'm saying you. Is that your baby? Is that your Frankenstein? Is that your creation? Yes. Good. And you're liable for my mom. What, what, what? You're what? Tell me you're not. What does it say in the mission statement for NHS? Oh, to protect and serve the people of England. Well, did you protect and serve my mom? Well, I got 300 excuses. You know what that's called? In court. That's called negligence. That's called, okay, it was an accident. You didn't mean to do it, but it happened. It, it's called negligence. Negligence is just like an accident. It's like, okay, shit happens. I understand. That's called negligence. So are you negligent? providing care and protecting my mom. Yeah, I know you don't. Like I said, I want to try to get out of the system. I just make the system uh, do its damn bloody job. That's what they're required to do by law. Mission statement one, protect and serve the people of England. Now, I don't see you said, well, unless we have enough money. What do you mean you don't have enough money? Uh, to travel around England, that, that, that very challenge has got to be worth trillions of dollars. I'm sure you could find some money somewhere to help take care of the elderly. I'm sure there's something around, so I'm sure you own the, the London Bridge. Put a toll booth up on it. Start collecting money for the elderly. Start selling the assets off for the Chinese. They got trillions of dollars in them, right? Provide for the people. That's what daddies do. That's what families do. Sometimes the family has to sell their house. To provide for their children. Sell it. Sometimes the family has to sell their motorcycle. Sell it. Provide for a surgery for your child. Nobody's going to think that you are a bad dad because you sold the motorcycle. They're going to think you're wonderful. Nobody's going to say, well, okay, now we, uh, we have to sell uh, the Tower of London to the Chinese. Why? Because we had a lot of sick people here in England and that died. So we have to provide for the people. And they say, okay, that was a good reason why you sold it. Hopefully someday we'll be able to buy it back. But right now, hey, you know what? We're short on money and we got a lot of sick here. we got to do what we got to do, just like when countries go to war countries go to war, all of a sudden they run to the bankers and they put all their country's uh, uh, assets up for collateral. And the bankers give them tons of money. So there you go. Well, we're in time of war, so we've got to borrow a lot of money. Okay, we're in time of war. Uh, war against cancer. Get a lot of money to help these people who got cancer. Solve the problem. 
you, but not where you want her to borrow money no more. It's a soccer game, cancer problem. Then that, then that way the country won't have to go on hawk. That way we won't have to sell a chunk or we'll put the lender, the tariff lender up uh, as collateral on, uh, on the loan. They got no problem uh, running to the bankers when they want to go to the common war. So why can't you people say, well, we, now we got a war in poverty? Or we got a war in poverty over here. But put the assets of the country up and let's solve the problem. You got the, you, you guys have no problem trying to cut the, you know, trying to, you know, you know, secure loans for a time of war. You got no problem going to the bankers and saying, oh, give us $10 trillion so we can get like some of that gas people. So you get some goat artists. You got no problem borrowing money for that. See, that's what I'm saying. Don't leave the system. Take the system working. That's this big system. And there's a lot of good people. Uh, had a lot of good uh, uh, reasons why they created that system. And uh, obviously, there were a lot of tree hugging people, and there were a lot of hippies, and a lot of let's save the world kind of people. Well, they had good hearts. And then it just gets uh, perverted as time goes by. So make them go back to their mission statement. Don't make them go back and make them hold them liable to it. What disband then? Just say, look, you guys are pitiful. You guys ain't doing your job. We're going to disband and come up with something new. But I think you guys can uh, live with this. So no sense disbanding it because if you disband it, all it's going to do is come and say, oh, great, let's disband this. And let's go spend another couple of trillion dollars on study programs and see how we can make it better. It's a waste of time, man. You guys already got a system in there, use it. Just tell them to protect it. Just tell them to tighten it up. Go back to mission statement one. And before you go to anything else, make sure you're protecting, you know, uh, you know, your security and the health of the people of England. You know, that, that's, that's, that's all we want to do. I, well, I wouldn't run out and say, you know what, destroy the system, bring the system down. <laughs> no, hold them on. They got plenty of assets. You know, they're not out of assets. Make them, make them liable. But, uh... The game is how you change them all if you want to sell it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a crazy, <laughs> crazy fucker. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. I'm, I'm, I'm funny like that, ain't I? How are you going to make people look at things when they were so sure about one thing to make them look at it from the other point of view? I'm good at that, man. I'm very good at looking at both sides of, uh... Uh, looking at both sides of the, the issue.